A Yellowstone bison attack almost ends badly for a camper up there at the National Park. Today we're going to be diving into what happened, showing you some footage, and giving you some tips so you can stay safe when you're out there camping at national parks, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thank you for being here today. Like I said in the intro, it was a terrifying video that was released earlier this week showing two young tourists in Yellowstone getting attacked by bisons. This is what went down at the beginning of the video. Keep going. Hey! Yellowstone and many national parks have so many types of large wildlife within their boundaries. Bison, bears, mountain goats, so many things that you really need to respect. And in this situation, you can hear the onlookers yelling for her to play dead. Fortunately, she does. This is how the video ends. and that experience probably won't be shaken for a while. Now, before you sign off after you've seen that video, listen to these few tips that could potentially save your life or someone around you if you come prepared to the national parks. Number one tip to stay safe in national parks is bring bear spray with you. In bear country, bear spray is essential. You don't wanna buy it when you arrive to a national park because the prices are probably 100% more expensive. Go ahead and get a can on Amazon, keep it in your RV, keep it in your vehicle, wherever your backpack, however you're traveling, so you can have that with you when you get to bear country. Not that you're supposed to use it on anything other than bears, but it is quite powerful and it will, I'm sure it should work on some other animals. Number two tip is make sure your food stays inside a bear box or your RV, somewhere where it's not left out in your campsite, somewhere where those scents aren't going to be attracting a bear. Even in a truck camper that has soft sides on it, bears can often come to those, rip through them, and do some serious damage, hopefully while you're not in the camper. You're gonna to wanna to be very protective and safe about how you store your food, where you store your food, not just for bears, but for any sort of big wildlife that is roaming around a national park. And the third way to stay safe is that realize this is not Disney World. A national park is not an area that you can roam freely. You need to respect the animals. It's their domain. The animals consider you as an intruder. You're not gonna to want to approach them. Don't get too close. Definitely don't feed the animals and respect that you're entering their domain, not vice versa. So those are the three tips. Terrifying video, but lots of lessons to learn from that. Be safe out there in the national parks, and we'll see you next time.